फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो अगेन वी हैव कम विद द न्यू वीडियो लाइक वी वर स्टडिंग द बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन लाइक बायोडाइवर्सिटी सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द बायोलॉजिकल नोमिन क्लेचर हाउ वी आर नोमिन वी आर गिविंग अ पर्टिकुलर नेम टू अ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म and uh, the why it is required so first we will discuss what are the rules uh, uh, then we will come to that so uh, uh, like it's better we will start with the why we start the uh, we, we give the biological name each and every living organism should have a particular name they should be known by a particular name so that the entire world can know otherwise if we will use any local name it will be very difficult to identify them suppose a person who is <coughs> who is belonging to a uh, 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 hindi area like mango we are saying aam mango is known in hindi aam in sanskrit it is called as amra uh, uh, like in indonesia vasa indonesia it is called as manga like somewhere somewhere its other name is also there so uh, if i'll say in indonesia and i'll say hey please give me a aam so no one will understand hey what is he is telling uh, the scientific community cannot uh, understand this one and if someone will come from indonesia the scientist will come from indonesia and he will come in the uh, uh, one of the state of bihar and uh, of india or suppose in bihar and he is saying hey please give me a manga what is the cost of manga we will say hey what what you are telling about that or these are the characteristic feature of a manga are what is manga yaar he will say what is aam yaar what you are telling so they we are uh, the scientific community uh, uh, have uh, uh, the, the the each and every organism has a scientific name which is common to all the this organism they those organisms are known by a scientific name so wherever we will take that name from whatever uh, place of across the globe they belong they will understand i'll say okay these are the characteristic feature of mangifera indica then immediately a mango figure will come in your mind in his mind or in your mind also some uh, uh, like uh, we are saying it's a panthera tigris oh it's a tiger or somewhere bag tiger whatever so uh, the benefit of the scientific name is what it is unique and it is a uh, same for the entire uh, scientific world so we can uh, identify it easily no confusion should be there so in that uh, uh, in this way uh, you can say that to identify for the identification carlos linea uh, for the nomenclature the carlos linnaeus was the scientist who was who is also known as father of taxonomy he has proposed a binomial nomial nomenclature system he has given us a, a, a scientific way to uh, uh, give the uh, scientific name or biological name to a living organism so that the no confusion can be uh, occur no confusion should be there in among the scientific community or in the across the world so what the scientific name is according to the binomial nomenclature it have two components it is written in two parts one is generic name and second one is specific name the generic name means spe genus and the uh, specific name is the species like a species we have already studied about that ki it is the basic it is the lowest category of classification or the taxonomy so we are moving from lowest to little bit broader so species and genus these are the two components of the bi binomial nomenclature the entire name is having two part one is genus that is the generic name of that particular organism and one is the the last one is the specific name so certain rules was given by the linnaeus so what the certain rules are generally these scientific names are derived from the latin word we are uh, they have uh, not might we not uh, they have uh, selected the english word because it is common so if we have to make it specific so that no uh, we we should have large number of vocabulary you can say that 
so they are derived from the latin word that's why when we are telling the name of the scientific name of the living organism it is like a tongue twister so sometimes so we uh, in the first time we uh, we get not we don't feel easy because we are not familiar with those name because they are derived from the latin word so first rule is generally they are derived it is not hard and fast but they are preferring to take the name from latin word and if once the name has been selected the different name it will have the two categories the two words the, uh, the first one is the genus and the second one is the species third rule is genus always starts with capital and the species or genus always starts with capital letter and the species always start with the small letter it is rule for writing the name of uh, any living organism according to the binomial nomenclature system third uh, the fourth point is genus and species must should be written separately they should not club together fourth fifth one if we are typing it should be italic but if we are writing by hand on paper or somewhere the both genus and species so everywhere it will be written separately but it is underlined separately also so what are the rules to write the by uh, the, uh, scientific name this should be derived derived from latin word it should have two name generic name and specific name generic name will be written first then a specific name will be there generic name will be start with always will start with the capital letter and the specific name will always start with the small letter if we are typing the generic uh, both the names will be it in italic font and if we are writing by hand it should be underlined separately let's come uh, some come with the uh, let's come with the some examples like some examples i have written like mango potato potato tiger lion etc so the sign this is these are the common name mango is known in uh, is it's a english word but in hindi it is aam in sanskrit it is amra in other word like in i have given the one example maybe so many examples you have uh, like in bhasha indonesia we are saying amra so uh, uh, sorry manga manga uh, so there are different name so we will get confused to avoid to avoid the con confusion the scientific name is there mangifera indica you can see mango if the scientific name of the mango is mangifera indica mangifera start this is the generic name the genus one and indica is the species like different variety can be possible like uh, one more example i am giving like apis indica it is the common uh, it is the scientific name of honey bee apis is the honey bee right but if it is of indian origin we are saying apis indica apis dorseta apis uh, africana apis adamsoni these are the different species of the apis that is the honey bee like apis africana is an ap uh, african variety apis indica its size is very small but dorseta is very big so accordingly means but they are all the common character is what they all are collecting the nectar from the plant from the flower and it they are making the honey right so they are honey bee but according to the size their feeding behavior their different characteristics they are of belonging to different species the same is here also like mango it is mangifera indica mangifera is the genus name and the species uh, indica is the species name right mangifera m started with capital indica started with a small letter since it was hand written so it was underlined separately please take care while writing the uh, the scientific name sometimes just to highlight what we are doing we are uh, 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 we are um, underlining continuously it will be wrong it should be separated even if you want to highlight it also no need simply you write like this it will be already uh, come in the uh, notice to the examiner or whosoever is ready next one is the next example is the potato 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 its uh, scientific name is solanum tuberosum i am giving one more example uh, like solanum melangia solanum brinjalis these all belong to solanaceae family like potato is known as solanum tuberosum it's a potato you are knowing solanum brinjalis it's a brinjal the egg plant 
so you can easily understand now ki what is the uh, genus and what is the species we will when we will go for the uh, detailed study there uh, it will more clarify like one more example tiger and lion they, they their genus name is common like panthera and panthera but the tiger species its, its species is tigris and lion's species is leo so panthera tigris is tiger panthera leo is lion and you can easily identify you can easily recognize and you can easily understand also ki what what is the difference between genus and species so these are the common characteristics these are the common rule for writing the binomial nomenclature it is containing two part that's why it is called as binomial two names are there generic name and specific name generic name and specific name should be written separately they should be uh, the generic name should be start with the capital letter species should name should be start with the small letter and if we are writing it should be underlined separately as i have underlined if you will violate we will violate any of the rule our name will be wrong suppose in the exam like when we were studying in the grade 12 and uh, that question was coming to describe this family and write any five plant name of the five plant and we were writing oh the all the rules we were following and following and just to highlight we were doing the mistakes and you you will come hey how if jamnar has been cut the marks so this is the reason because we are not following the rules of the taxonomy uh, binomial nomenclature which was given by the linear so once uh, recap it binomial nomenclature it is clear from the name it contain two parts two name it has it is it is a combination of two name generic name and a specific name generic name now what are the rules to write generic name will be start with the capital letter species species name or a specific name will be start with the small letter generic name and a specific name should be written separately if we are typing it should be italic when we are typing it will be italic only no need to underline separately or underline but if we are writing by hand it should be underlined separately and they all are derived from latin word generally they are from latin word so this is all about binomial nomenclature hope next time if someone will ask to you what is your name then you will say my name is homo sapiens what is this mangifera indica what is Uh, just flying here and there at a small insect that is the musca domestica which is the house fly what is this uh, 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 a, a, a cat family organism which is carnivorous in nature having uh, big big hairs eyes we are saying uh, big big hairs in the neck and it is so dangerous king of the forest that is lion so what is the name of the lion panthera leo it's one of the family member is panthera tigris so in this way we can categorize them we can identify them and further we will classify also so we we have learned about the binomial nomenclature how the organisms has been given the name thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press on the bell icon thanks for watching again